Hi and uh, welcome to today's uh, De Lacey Metal Detecting Club finds. Um, <clears throat> fortunately I've been on my own today and I couldn't do any of the videoing of the digs because like a numpty I didn't have enough battery on my phone and for other reasons I needed what were left. So here it goes. So first we've had, got as usual bits and bobs we have two miners uh tanks uh pistol shot and i don't know that little one looks like it's come off a phone so it could be the smaller version and that that could possibly be one that's hit somebody on the back of the head we have a key and uh, another knife which looks a little a lot younger than the one I found last time and then a headless duck which is I think it's like a, a, a lead figurine and then we've got this one here looks like it's got a bit of gold gilt on it it's I believe missing quite obviously missing its legs arms head and most of its body on one side but it looks like some kind of a I don't know, maybe a Roman soldier or something. And then getting on to coins, we have a George V, half penny. Then we've got, um, I forgot about that one. Which, yeah, George V. So George's fifth penny, when it focuses in, George V, ship, half penny. Two George Fifth, uh, sorry, I'll start again, George Sixth. So, three threepence, and then we have a Vicky Wong shilling, and a Vicky Ship's half penny. Then, getting on to normal stuff two two peas, two five peas. And half pence and three one pences. And if it won't focus last time, that's the other coins. And then we have a 1914, which I thought were a penny, with somebody's attempted to weld a pin on it to make it into a brooch. But it's not a penny. It is a French coin, 10 centimes, I think it is. So I'm going to try and get that off, clean it up a bit. But yeah, cracking job. And that's it. To the next.